Steve Mignani here for Asseter Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction event with item number 270. This is, I think, a 1969 Dodge D100 swept side long bed. The reason I say I think is because the VIN sequence is how you determine the model year on these. There's no paperwork inside, but it looks to be a 69. Forgive me if I'm off by a year or two. What I'm about to tell you is fact. Okay, this one does have a pretty decent grill, a little banged up, and these are available either, uh, I believe, reproduction or new old stock. But again, the bones on this truck are fantastic. The inner fenders are rock solid. These things are normally peppered with holes, not here. The original aqua paint is still very much present. The firewall looks fantastic. Uh, this is a 360, I believe, with the external balanced harmonic. But anyway, 360 two barrel in place, probably born a 318 truck. But what we're buying here, of course, is the solid frame and cab and bed, which are all very nice. Uh, manual brakes, no power, that's okay. Uh, I see a manual steering box. So a fairly austere, basic truck. Love the Kreger mag on the front there, <laughs> kind of cool. And here's the Dodge 100 series. So down low, the magnet sticks. This is the original paint on this truck. Uh, the cowl does have a little bit of bubbling right there. Not a big, big, big deal, but again, the magnet sticks. There's no plastic in here. That's honest rust. There's nobody been in there trying to hide it, which is great. Texas suntan up here. Down here with the original aqua paint. The magnet wants to stick pretty much everywhere. And uh, let's see, open the door up and check out what's in inside. Okay, there is the bench seat interior, three-speed torque flight automatic, uh, the original padded dashboard, a little bit of a crack going on, but again, it's complete and intact. Now on the pillar behind the door, we'll see the VIN tag, this thing right down here. This is the data plate, and we have a 355 axle, 727 uh, transmission, the automatic, and it says 318 engine. So this was a small block automatic pickup truck. Again, I think that's a 360 because I see a harmonic balancer with a uh, eccentric weight, so probably a 360, but that's okay. Small blocks are small blocks. The bed on this is very, very nice. Uh, looks very solid down low, no bubbling. The magnet sticks and the chrome trim, or the die cast, the, the, the tan is very nice. Texas suntan here, and this is a long bed, eight footer. These are also available as a, a six footer, but again, very, very nice. Here's that swept line styling, 1961 through 71. The rear uh, tailgate is in pretty good shape, not banged up too much, a little bit of a hole there, but again, uh, not too bad. The rear bumper is an aftermarket step piece, heavy, heavy duty. Looks like an Arizona, I think, I think, plate 7.1 JGR. Uh, around this side, again, more original paint, sun tanned, solid down low. That's beautiful. The magnet sticks really nice, no problem there. And again, just suntan here, that is metal. That's not plastic. Uh, eight and three quarter rear axle, again, with the 355 gear set inside of there, a nice highway and uh, acceleration gear, good compromise type of gear. Very sweet here. Very nice, no perforations. The lip, the flange underneath is present, not rusted or bent. Nice bed. Uh, the cab here continues with uh, nice solid condition. Let's pop the door if we can, yeah. Take a look inside and again, uh, the cab floor looks very nice. The step wells are in great shape. Transmission tunnel looks solid. That green paint inside is all correct. Uh, this has not been restored or molested. This is basically the way you would have found it on a used car lot in uh, 1975 or so. But this is 2021, so finding these today, uh, well, it's a very special treat. Uh, front fender down low, see a little bit of uh, hammer work. This has been hit apparently and somebody heated it up and fixed it. But again, you can get these fenders or you could fix this one. It's not that bad. Aside from that, it's in fantastic rust-free condition. So that's the story of item number 270, uh, a 1969-ish Dodge D100 long bed, two-wheel drive, half-ton pickup truck.